What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. What's happening? What's happening? All right. So, I'm going to draw a zebra today. Check it out. Should be cool. Should be cool. Hello, Ellery Smith, Matteo Mercado. Enrique, what's happening? Okay, so I'm gonna start off horribly. Okay, I'm gonna start off really well here. Let's see. Try to figure out where the top of this is gonna be. What's going on, Cubs win? Nova Mova, Amanda, what's happening? Elias, Elias. All right, Mateo. Hi, hello, goodbye. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, Matias, what's happening? Monica, hello, hello everybody. So let's, yeah, let's start off with a shape that uh, resembles this uh, zebra, or try to anyway. I want to make sure I. Don't draw this thing too big. I want to fit it all on the page, of course. And you guys know me by now. I kind of just eye it up at the beginning. Try to make it work for the most part. Just get a feeling for feeling for my subject a bit. This one's somewhat tricky, but it's probably a bit easier than if I did like a profile, a side view. So this is more of a straight on view, but there's a lot of foreshortening going on here, so I gotta be careful. It's quite it's quite trickier than it looks, to be honest. It's quite trickier than it looks. I think his body's too small. I think this is overall too big, because I'm gonna end up the feet are gonna end up running off. So I need to I need to define the height and then I'll adjust the width. Once I get that right then hello Nadia from Argentina thanks for tuning in 66 lane what's happening Raven Wolf hello everybody what brand of pencil is this I don't know just a cheap brand it's a 2B pencil actually it's a magic pencil I just put that fake branding on there this is a magic pencil that I created myself and it has magical powers and it makes me able to draw anything that I want so that's why most people will never get good at drawing because they don't have this kind of magic pencil and uh, yeah just so you guys know all right so let's see I want it about this tall so now that I have that let's try to figure out the width versus the height um, so I'm just going to measure here using this magic pencil that I have. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. I think we got it. So the width is actually, the, the height is two times the width. So basically half of this height, or almost half of the height, actually this would be down to kind of the knee, and there's a little bit longer. Uh, so given that, I'm going to bring this up just a little bit. So what that means is, 
half of this is the uh, width that I want. So I want to make sure if I find the half way point pretty close to that, so maybe up a little bit more. Boom, so that is, there's no way that's the width. It doesn't look very wide, but I'm gonna go with it. So let's see. Wow, that doesn't look right at all. How is that possible? Okay, so actually the height actually comes down a little bit more, something like this, but that's to the, the knee joint. So it was a good marker to choose, but that's really the width, that's crazy. Okay. Same with the pins. Yeah, these are actually magical pins too. Actually the pins, they just have magic ink in them. So I take like a shell of an old pin dump out all the rest of the ink and then I put this magical pin formula, ink formula, into the pins. So, yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> yeah, I have some clothes drying, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I tried to do it before like a stream or afterwards, but these needed to be washed, unfortunately. So hopefully it's not too distracting because I don't have a doorway to close off. All right, so we got the height and width basically. So now I just got to kind of fill things in there. And I know this halfway mark that I have lined up, it's pretty useful because I know, I know that the, the chin is actually above that. So probably something like that. I could measure more if I wanted to, but now that I have these kind of guidelines, I can kind of just eye it up. I know that the neck is inside of that line because this is where the body kind of curls outward right here. What's going on, design? It's by CAD Pro. I'm trying to make a zebra. This one's a little tricky just because there's a lot of foreshortening going on. So we're not seeing the, uh, this width just does not look right, but it is. It's so, it boggles my mind. I'm, my mind is, is blown right now. Um, I just, how does that, I don't see how this works. Okay. Um, Wow. Okay, so that's perfect. So now the head is actually where the head meets the body is actually exactly halfway. So we're getting lucky here today, folks. So what I can do is make like a guideline and then try to make sure that that's the center. Pretty close, pretty close. So that's pretty much the center. So this is where the head meets the body. which is kind of up here somewhere. So that's the point where something like this, that's where its body and its head meets. So you guys probably can't see that. I'll look in the ref, show you the reference photo. So that's what I'm talking about right there where its snout kind of meets the body. That's where I'm drawing right now. Um, so. Yeah, basically I'm not drawing a zebra, I'm drawing a horse with stripes. That's a good point. And I'm, I'm kind of dumb for doing this today because, as you guys know, the last two days I just drew a tiger and I painted it. And I'm so done with stripes that I didn't even, I didn't even do that many stripes, but I'm, I'm so done with that tiger. And now I'm like, oh, let's do something with more stripes. Like, why would I do that? Why do I put myself through this pain? I guess you guys like watching me in pain, I don't know. 
Okay, I'm trying here folks, I'm trying to get this blocked in a little bit quicker. But I do want to make sure it's accurate. As much as I can anyway, as much as I can. So that looks pretty good. And then the top of the ears is way up here. So and that's perfect. So the ear only comes out to about here. It's got a big ear though, big ear. Man, I just don't get how it's, it does not look right at all. The width and the, the length, the, the height versus the width does just not look right, but I measured it. Oh, man. It's crazy. I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not understanding how this is working. But yeah, I knew this would be a tough one today too, so here I am, here I am, showed up to work. So the ear actually comes out a little bit further than the neck, something like that. I'm trying to figure out where this other eye is going to be. Up here, it's snout. Man, this just looks so off. His head just does not look long enough. But I think it's because I have lines here that you can't really see in the photo. These stripes are tripping me up again. I think that's what it is. Tricky man, tricky. This is a tricky horse. But I'm gonna keep going, we'll just keep going with it. And try to try to get this figured out as best I can. So it looks like Yeah, I'm measuring. I, I, I'm I'm having trouble measuring today visually. I cannot uh, for some reason. I don't know. It must be his stripes or something messing me up because I'm just like, I'm having a lot of trouble visually measuring this for some reason. I have no idea what's going on. It's crazy. It's so weird. I can normally draw pretty easily. Blo I mean, you guys see how I block stuff in normally. It's pretty quickly usually. And this one's just like tripping me up. I don't know if it, it's just the angle of, of this thing and, and the, the stripes or something. I don't know. I'm just not used to drawing this kind of animal. There's a lot to figure out, I guess. Could have chosen easier zebra. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there is easier zebra. What's up, Philip? Thanks for tuning in. You think this is too high? Maybe. I don't know. Could be, but let's just keep going for now. It seems it's in the right spot as far as I can tell, but I can't tell anything today. I'm having serious trouble. It's not like I haven't been practicing or anything, you know, like I've been trying
drawing the last two days, painting the last two days. And I put in more time the last two days than I have, than I usually do, so it's really weird that this is, so his leg kind of disappears there, we got some grass. This one you can kind of see, and then this one goes down from here, and then the more I can get blocked in, then I can kind of tweak things possibly if I need to, if I feel I need to. So right away, his belly needs to line up with this. So this is up too high. I can see if I want his belly to be this low, which I think I do. So we'll see how this looks. Something like that. We can get rid of these guidelines. Try to figure out where we're where I'm at with this. Does it look like a zebra yet? I don't know why I did all these stripes. What was I thinking yesterday? Oh yeah, I'll do a zebra, that'd be cool. No, it won't. Won't be cool. How would it be cool to draw a zebra? Zebras aren't cool. <laughs> Just kidding. They're cool. So why why is this too high? I don't see. Uh, I don't s I'm not seeing it. All right, let's let's measure it. Pro you probably got you guys are probably right because I can't see anything today. Man, everything lines up perfectly on this thing. Okay, so this measurement should be the same as this measurement, and you guys are right. So move it down a little bit, and it makes sense anyway because this line of this thing needs to move down anyway. So. This should probably level it out a bit more, hopefully. It's easy for you guys to see all this stuff. You're getting a good, clear view of this. There we go. Does that look better? That looks like him. If I get rid of this line, which I don't really want to, but it's not really there, so I want to just draw lines that are there that I can see. Like, does it look like it? looks like it now so this would so does his neck need to be lower now I think it does like this needs to be lower because it's actually below the bottom of his mouth so this needs to be lower ah, you guys missed that one I think you guys know it all I see I see I see you guys <laughs> Uh, what's happening, Mark? No worries. Thanks for tuning in real quick. But um, It'll look like a zebra when I add stripes. Yeah, hopefully. It does kind of look like a donkey with the mouth and the ears. I was going to say earlier, the ears remind me of like a donkey ears. Yep. Sounds good, Jacob. Glad you took my advice and did a two hour drawing. I didn't know if I gave that advice, but if I did, glad it helped you. Okay. Grass and stuff. I don't know why I'm drawing that. I'm going to do that in pen. Boom. All right. So now. I have this light that comes down across. So I guess we should try to get some of these stripes on. Try to figure out at least where some of these are going to be placed. 
So we got some nice stripes that go down body like this. All right, guys, so this is the question. This is a very important question. And there is a right answer. I can't remember it, but somebody will know it. What tools are you going to use for this piece? I'm using this pencil. I'm using this pen. I'm using this pen. And then maybe this pen, this crappy jelly roll. That's what I'm going to be using. But I need to get the pencil down first. All right, so this is a very important question, guys. Is a zebra black with white stripes or white with black stripes? We, we got to know. Somebody has the answer out there. I know, I know somebody out there knows it, one of you guys. <laughs> I can't believe nobody's asked that question. Maybe somebody asked that question, but it's very important. Although isn't some of the black, it's actually kind of brown though, isn't it? So technically it's like brown. Or at least some zebras are. From I was looking at a bunch of photos of zebras and some of them are brown. They have interesting like brown stripes. It's pretty cool. They look really cool. Definitely cool to paint. It definitely would be cool to paint. And they're lit up by the sun. They got this brown glow to them. Really warm brown. They have both black and white fur. Yeah, but come on, I, no duh, they do. Really, they do? I didn't know they had black and white fur. I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at it, like, just kidding, just kidding. Wow, you don't say they're black and white? I had no idea. <laughs> We're not allowed to access that folder. Black with white stripes. I mean, I don't really have the answer, so I just wanted to, I wanted to get you guys to debate it. <laughs> I forgot the answer. Aren't they black with white stripes? Because when you look down their back, like it's all the black is actually connected. So, does that mean they're black stripes or is it white stripes? I think it's white stripes on a black... Uh, did I take the photo? No, I did not. Unfortunately, I did not. Uh, like I said, normally I usually like to use my own photos and stuff when I can, but a lot of these animal, an, an, animals, animals, I've never really seen in person. I mean, I've seen like a zebra in the zoo or something probably, but I've never been to Africa or anything yet. So haven't seen a zebra like this out in the wild. And there's probably not too many places anymore where you can see zebras out in the wild, unfortunately. Oh boy, I really don't want to sit here and draw all these stripes. But I feel like I need to like plan it a little bit. I need to get like the form right on this thing, otherwise it's gonna look flat. All right, where's this leg? Okay. There's like a bunch of little stripes down here. Let's not get too worried about those. I'll have a bunch of grass covering all this nonsense down there anyway. So, okay. Looks, it's getting some form there. It looks good. So this belly's gonna be tricky. There's a lot of stuff going on. Anybody watch Savage Kingdom on Nat Geo? That sounds pretty cool. I wish I had, I don't have a TV or anything. Can you watch Nat Geo online? I would definitely watch Nat Geo online if I could find it. I'm sure you gotta pay for it somewhere or something. It's so dumb. I mean, I understand it. Come on, buddy, come here. We have a kitty who wants to be on my lap. But I'm trying to work, buddy, I'm trying to work. I gotta get this done before two hours again. I don't want another two hour stream. I want one hour. Although the cool thing about 
the two streams I did the past two days, if you go and look at them, not right now, but if you just glance at them, if you're looking at my channel one time, they're both two hours and four minutes. I don't know how I did it. I don't. I didn't really plan it. I don't know how it happened, but they're both two hours and four minutes. I think it's four minutes. I was like, whoa, I was looking at that last night. I was like, wow. Like, I did not plan that, but they were both around the same time. Really crazy. So I think we got an eye over here. Some kind of eye and then I think the snout needs to dip in just a little bit more. And then the other eye is way over here. I don't know how they can see ahead of them. The eyes are like on the side of their head. It's crazy. Nature is amazing though, that's for sure. Love nature, love animals. Yeah, I've been to Alaska. Alaska is really awesome too. I can't wait to go back there. There's so much more to see in Alaska. I'm just so glad when I went to Alaska I got to see a grizzly bear in the wild. It's the most awesome things. I wish it was a little bit closer, to be honest. It was kind of far. I mean, it was far enough where you could see it with your eye. I mean, you could definitely see it. And I got some good video of it and stuff. But I wish it would have been closer. I know that's crazy to say. Like, you wish a grizzly bear was closer, but it was so far away. I mean, I'm not sure how many feet or yards it was, but I mean, it was, it was pretty close. It was pretty close given encounters in the wild but I wouldn't want to be a whole much more close to it but I just wish it was closer so I could have seen it better but it was still a pretty cool experience the only other thing I wanted to see in the wild that I didn't get to see was a wolf I wanted to see a wolf in the wild didn't get to see any of those I saw a lot of moose would it be moose or meese? Saw a lot of meese. Moose. <laughs> uh, I know it's just moose, but saw a lot of mooses. Meese. Uh, those were cool. Yeah, actually, I saw a grizzly bear on the last day that I was in Denali. Denali National Park. I was in there the last day. Whoa, that's crazy. Wow. My grandma painted a zebra head and it's really wild. It's really good. She just sent me a text of it. And it's really awesome. I'm afraid to do it in watercolor. Man, oh man, I'm already 30 minutes into this, dude. What the heck? I gotta get going. I gotta stop filling in these stripes as much. Because I still gotta do the pen and ink on this. Let's just go quickly now. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna be here another two hours. Hope not. Yeah, Yellowstone was awesome too, but I... Unfortunately, when I went to Yellowstone, I only stayed there for like a few hours. I was kind of driving through. I saw Old Faithful erupt. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I can't. I w really want to go back to Yellowstone and spend a few days there. I saw some buffalo really up close. So that was cool. But I've seen buffalo really up close before that. When I lived, when my mom and other family lived in Oklahoma for a few years. We saw some buffalo really up close. It was pretty cool. 
But I've only seen a bear in the wild once in Alaska. That was it. It was the last day I was in Denali National Park. We had been there for like three days. We are like, man, we got to see a bear. We've seen a lot of moose. We've seen a lot of birds and squirrels and all kinds of like weird, you know, animals only in Alaska. And then the very last day, like the very last morning, the last hour, we were about to drive out of the park and boom, we saw a grizzly bear. I was like, heck yeah, man, this is awesome. Because I went there at the beginning, really, really beginning of the season. It was kind of rare to see a bear. I think it was only the males that were running around at that time. It was like, you know, mid-May. Everything was still frozen. There's still like three feet of snow on the ground. It was, there wasn't a whole lot of activity going on. Uh, as far as bears and stuff, there some of them were still kind of hibernating or whatever, if you believe that they hibernate. I've heard that they don't, I've heard that they do, you know, I don't really know. But All right, yeah, this is looking like a zebra. This looks like a zebra, I think. What do you guys think? It's starting to look like a zebra. So this part's really dark and then it's a little bit lighter under here. I have Xfinity too. Um, oh yeah, it's definitely a bummer when zebras, you know, get caught by lions and all that kind of stuff. It's hard to watch that kind of stuff. But, yeah, it's nature, you know, it's what, how they do it. Did you already talk about your past illustrations? No, I have not. I was gonna, I was gonna do that. I have them prepared here next to me. I was going to do that uh, during this episode, during this live, this episode, during this live stream. But I got to get going on this drawing, man. I got to get going on this drawing. Okay, that one's filled in enough. I'm not going to fill these stripes in anymore because I need to do that with the pen. I need to just get them down. And I just don't want to get confused with what's black and what's white, that's all. That's why I'm trying to fill some of these in a little bit more. So, okay, that one's black. Should be good. Black. Ooh, getting tricky here. It's getting tricky. The form of these is getting more difficult. Got to really pay attention to the form. What I mean by that, the form is like the curves, how it curves around the body. That's what's going to reveal the form of this thing. That's what's so tricky. So I got to make sure I get some good form on these. Got to really pay attention. And they all kind of go up to its mouth, which is kind of cool. Because um, they all like round around its back, you know. But it kind of points, everything points to its mouth, which is kind of the focal area. So this is kind of a cool, pretty cool how that works. And I, I think I'm going to have to, you know, I'm not getting the stripes as perfectly as they are in the photo. I'm going to have to, like, omit some of these and uh, change you know, the number of stripes and everything, but I'm going to do my best. It's hard to fit all these stripes in. Because there's just so many. how they evolved to get their stripes. I mean, it's a pretty weird animal. Do they even really fit into the environment where they're at? I mean, like black and white stripes, like how does that even fit into the... 
how did they camouflage? Like, how is this camouflage? It doesn't really make sense. But I'm not, like, very smart when it comes to this kind of stuff. I haven't studied it, you know. Okay. This leg is pretty dark overall, so we'll just suggest some stripes down there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. A few stripes down here. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just the stupid legs. All right. Uh, yeah, Man vs. Wild was cool. Yeah. Survivor Man was cool. Both those were pretty cool, but I know people complained about the Man vs. Wild. Like, oh, the guy stayed in a hotel or whatever. Like, whatever. I mean, the guy is just, it's just an educational show. It's not like. He doesn't really need to do all the stuff, but whatever. People complain about everything nowadays, so. Oh man, yeah, I'm gonna have to really, I uh, can't fit in all these stripes on this back, but I'm gonna try. I mean, there's no way I'm gonna fit all of them in here, but I'm gonna try to make it look like there's a lot of stripes going on back here. That's all I can fit in. Yeah, I don't know why the 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 width just looks off on this, even though I measured it. You know, I just I don't get it. I think the stripes are just so much thinner, and my pencil I just cannot fit those in there. But hopefully, I can get this belly. To, I think the belly just needs to look rounder. I need more form here. Cause those stripes like go way underneath and then come out, but it's like there's no room for me to draw that on here. It's, something's off. Something's off. It's not off though. I don't get it. I don't get it, but oh well. When you mentioned you wanted to be an illustrator, did you mean like for books? Yeah, I was thinking like books and stuff like that. Like, you know, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't good, so. Um, do you ever draw or paint reptiles? Uh, I don't know if I have yet, but I, I don't mind doing that. Um. Uh, sorry to hear that, Deborah. I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, something just looks off here with the height compared to the uh, something with the curve of this. Ugh, I really don't want to redo those stripes, but I feel like I made this back one too wide to start out with. I got to fix the form here because it's just not working. And if it's not working, I don't want to ink it and make it permanent. So we can do redo these real quickly. The good thing is I think I can quickly do this with ink. You know, there is a lot of ink to put down, but I think I can quickly do this with ink. There's not a whole lot to figure out once I get this drawn. I just, I really want to make, this is like a really important part of it. So I want to make sure I get this right. And I think you guys will appreciate me wanting to do that. So let's make this smaller, really try to get this 
fit most of these on here. I'm probably not going to get all of them, but I'm going to try to get as many of them as I can. <clears throat> but what's important is I need to work, I need to get this curve of these other stripes first, I think. That's what's really important here is Yeah, I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why mine doesn't look as fat and as as, as cool as the photograph, you know? Like what the heck? I'm trying though, I'm trying. So many little stripes and stuff. Can I get this in there? Can't fit it in. Like how small do I have to make my stripes? They're not that small on the zebra. Or maybe they are, I don't know. But Oh well. Alright, well, let's just wrap this thing up. Let's try to get this... Try to get this zebra buddy looking like a zebra, I guess. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. The very back, though, is wide in the picture, though. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. It looks wide. It so, looks so much wider in the picture, even though I measured the dang thing. I got the exact width versus height, I got everything right, but for some reason there's just something, I mean obviously I can't get it perfectly, but I got the measurements right, so I just don't get why it looks so off. It's weird. Maybe that looks better, hopefully, but um, you know, I don't know, there's something weird here about this spacing, but we'll just make it work. Okay. At this point I'm done. I'm done. All right, let's get with the pen. Let's go with the pen. And uh, let's avoid stripes for like the next month. We'll just draw other stuff that doesn't have stripes. How about that? <laughs> I'm done with stripes. Let's just lighten up some of this so I can not get too distracted with the pencil bit. Okay, let's go, let's go. Erase all the lines and call it a horse. <laughs> exactly. That's what I should have done. 
Should have drawn a horse today. We'll just rename the live stream. Drawing a horse in pen and ink. There we go, my laundry's done. Now the annoying sound is gone. Ooh, it's so quiet in here now. Like I said, I could probably get this in pretty quickly if I go quickly, basically. I do like what I have, though. I mean, it's not like it's not too bad. It's just uh, it's a very tough subject, especially drawing it this small, you know, on a sheet of paper. You know, like five or six inches tall. It's pretty difficult. It's not the easiest thing to draw with all these stripes and my pencil wasn't sharp enough. And bunch of problems. Just complaining, that's all. Uh, I do have a washer and dryer in my unit. They're stacked on top of each other. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I have a dishwasher as well that I never use. I've never used my dishwasher once. <laughs> uh, I don't use enough dishes to to really use it, but uh, I do have a dishwasher as well. But I still think my rent's a little expensive, even with the stuff that's in my apartment. I still have pretty expensive rent, but what are you going to do? Pay it, I guess. Yeah, that's all I can do is just pay it. So we got like a nostril here. All right, we're coming together. We're coming together real quick here. 48 minutes. Oh, yeah, we got... Normally I start the inking process about 20 minutes in, so yeah folks, this one took me a little bit longer today, but it's alright. No rush really, right? I do have a garbage disposal as well in my sink, yeah. Um, yeah, San Francisco is ridiculous. Mine's not that high, but it's getting there. <laughs> Feels like it's getting there, you know. And I have I have a one bedroom. But you know, I, I definitely know it's worse than other places, but I definitely know it's not the best where I'm at either. But, you know, I got a roof over my head. I'm able to pay for it. And, you know, I try to sit here and do what I love every day for a few hours. And I got you guys. And, you know, everything's not, it's not too bad. It is what it is. So... What's going on, Kashika? How's it going? So it looks like we got this whole thing 
Looks like a horse. Now we gotta add the stripes. Call this thing a zebra. Wonder where this name zebra came from. Wonder where zebras came from. I feel like I need to watch a documentary on zebras now. I want like a whole documentary. I need the history of zebras. You know, I think, I, I'm trying to think, uh, I can't remember if it's camels or if it's horses. I can't remember. But one of them actually, uh, yeah, I shouldn't even say it if I don't even know the fact, but it's either horses or camels. I can't remember exactly which one. Actually originated in North America to begin with. Uh, but now when people think of them, you wouldn't think of them being as from North America. You know, this was like thousands and thousands of years ago. I think it might have been camels. But I, I might be wrong on that. It might not be camels. It might be like horses or something. One of those. Somebody fact check me. I don't know. I do know a lot of useless random facts, that's for sure. About all kinds of things. Alright, we're going to make up some stripes here. One second, folks. <laughs> okay. Let's just trying to figure out stuff on the face here. Um, but anyway, I, I do want to say really quickly, because I forgot to mention this. Uh, be sure to check out my website, shaperfineart.com. I got some drawings on there. More drawings you can look at. Click on them and get closer views of them. They're all for sale. Been selling a few of the drawings lately, so which is pretty good. And I have a bunch of watercolors for sale as well. Those sell really nicely and they look really nice in people's houses and stuff. Definitely check that out. Uh, I also have a support page on there. You can support me on PayPal, Venmo, Threadless, Patreon, Bandcamp. Check everything out. Greatly appreciate it. So I just wanted to mention that real quick. Thank you guys. So um, we might take a break here in a minute. I'll show you guys some of my old, anybody want to see my old art from when I, my first years in college? Some of my college uh, assignments and my portfolio. They're actually all one and the same. They're in like a book format, so I can kind of show you guys if you guys are interested in seeing any of my, kind of where I came from before I got into painting, before I got into, you know, when I was doing art, a lot of digital stuff, graphic design, um, a little bit of watercolor, a little tiny bit of watercolor. Tomorrow I'm gonna show you guys some of my very first watercolors that I'm gonna be putting those up for sale on my website. Watercolors from like 2009, 2010, really old stuff. I'm gonna show all you, show you guys tomorrow. I figured it'd be better to show the watercolor, old watercolors on a watercolor stream. It just makes more sense. So I just want to get a little bit further in this drawing, and then I'll show you guys some of the older work in just a minute. If anybody, okay, we got a sure, we got yes, yes, we got a buy Kashika. Philip says yes. Brandon of the past sounds interesting. All right, cool. All right, so I'll show you guys in one second here. You know, we won't spend a whole lot of time on it. I'll just show you briefly some of the pages of my portfolio and and uh, you know, kind of what I did, where I kind of came from. You guys will see kind of the you know just. Not not the greatest art, not the greatest art. I mean, it was okay for like my first two years of college or something. This 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 books are from my first two years of college when I was learning stuff. Didn't really do a whole bunch of you know. Like I said, before I ever got into painting, before I ever tried painting, I actually experienced trying painting 
like seriously for the first time in one of my college classes. So that's uh, that's how I got into painting, and I started get it. I got into watercolor that way. So I have some watercolors to show you guys tomorrow. And I want to put those up for sale, man. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool watercolors from 10 year, 11, 10, 11 years ago that I never thought I'd ever like sell them or put them up or yeah, I just never thought about any of that stuff. But now it's it's cool thinking, man, I could sell these now. Like people might be interested in buying these. You know, there's a few that are that are I'm okay with selling. Like I think they're pretty good quality. Um there's a I had a few, like one or two that weren't that that great, but you know, there's probably five or six that are really good, so for back then at least. Oh gosh, this is like, this is too meditative. <laughs> this is too meditative. Are you sure you don't want to hold on to them for sentimental value? I don't know. That's a good point. You know, I, I kind of like, I already have enough art that I'm keeping. <laughs> I just, I, I need to get rid of stuff, you know. I don't, I don't want to be. I really, tr I'm really trying to be more like a minimalist. So like, I don't want to keep a lot of stuff. I already have, you know, a few paintings I've kept, and I already have photos of them and everything. Like, what do I need to keep the real thing for? I'd rather give it to somebody who really is going to appreciate it and enjoy it. So that's how I think of it trying to think of it just trying to let it go you know just let go of stuff not be so worried about I mean I'm gonna die one day anyway I can't I can't bring all the stuff with me so I know sucks to think about that but it's where we all end up we all end up at the same place you know or maybe not the same place depending on what you believe but <laughs> we all end up at the same place like we're not going to live forever. They haven't figured that out yet. So until they figure that out, or at least some kind of life extension, we're all we're all in this together. We're all going the same place. That's why we got to be kind to each other while we're here on Earth. Yeah, we're all the same. All right, once I finish the head here, then I'll, I'll show you guys some of the work. Did you always sketch as a kid? Yeah, I have a bunch of I have a bunch of sketches my mom has in her house. I'm I'm trying to get her to find them. I got like two or three binders and probably some other folders full of my drawings when I was a kid. And I drew some dumb stuff as a kid, man, like just silly cartoons and my own kind of little comics and stuff. It'd be cool to show you guys or at least see them again and uh, see how ridiculous this stuff is. But also show you guys like where I started from and, and show you that, hey, it's possible to get to this kind of level. Like if you just persevere and do it, if you really want to draw and, and do art, like it's, it's possible. And it doesn't take a lifetime. It doesn't take 20 years to get to a point where you're, you're happy with the art you create. You know, you can get there a lot quicker. starting to see now all the spacing issues I had with some of these stripes. I did too much spacing here, but that's all right. This, it'll still look like a zebra. I'm not worried. I'm a little worried, but not worried, worried.
don't know why I keep looking at the reference photo like it's gonna give me something new or something. This is pretty cool. There's kind of like this hole of white right there. It's kind of cool. We'll keep that. I can't wait to do the grass at the bottom. This that's gonna be my favorite part of this whole drawing. It's the grass at the bottom. Uh, actually, I can't wait to put the white in the light. Because I think this thing is going to pop. There's no doubt. I really hope this thing's going to pop. I'm not sure if I'm going to do any white pen in the shadows. I think the tone of the paper is going to look, hopefully, it'll look cool. Um, uh, what if you could die whenever you wanted? Well, let's not talk about that. <laughs> You mean like you mean like if I wanted to die like a thousand years in the future from now? You know, I don't want to like die tomorrow. You know, there is a way to make that happen. Let's let's not talk about that though. Um What about the memories? Well, the memories are in my head. The memories are stuff I videotape. The memories are, you know, Memories are photos and stuff. You don't always have to keep everything. And memories disappear, right? Unless you have it. I mean, even memories from a kid, everybody remembers. They think they remember their childhood, but then everybody, they have, you know, they have science on that that says, like, actually everybody, like, remembers everything completely wrong. You know, so you can't even really trust your own memories because you make up stuff, you remember it wrong. Even though you think you remember it clear as day, but you don't. Everyone's memory fades, so the best thing to do is either take a photo or videotape it. Which is really a shame, because, it, it, you know, it's funny, I was thinking, I was listening to something, I can't remember, I don't know what it was, podcast last night, maybe? But they were talking about how writing back in the day like thousands of years ago, how they, some cultures saw writing as a, as a, as a bad thing. Like they saw writing as, like being able to write things down. They didn't see it as an advancement. They saw it as like something that hurts society because now you don't have to rely on your memory anymore. Because back then, I mean, they had to remember everything, you know, like, when they told stories and passed everything down and like they had to, people had to, it was very important that people remember things exactly the way it was told to them. And that's how we got a lot of these crazy stories and stuff nowadays because they've been passed down for thousands of years. But now we can write everything down. You know, how many people, I bet there's very, even in this chat, I bet, there's very few people out there that actually remember people's phone numbers. I used to remember people's phone numbers all the time. I was so good at remembering phone numbers. And there's some in my head still. I can remember my mom's phone number. I remember, you know, there's some people's phone numbers I have in my head. But nowadays, nobody remembers anybody's phone number anymore. You don't have to. You just write it down. It's in your phone. You know, it's already there. But what happens if, you know, everything crashes all the batteries die, everything's done. You can't access any of the digital stuff. There's no way to check your email or anything. You know, what happens then? You wish you had a better memory, you know? So yeah, in a way, I mean, those people were kind of right in a way. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Uh, did you ever do journals? It's interesting to read them when you're older. No, I didn't really. I'm not much of a writer, to be honest. People would memorize whole books worth of information. Yeah, exactly. I would like to visit your website for art gallery. Okay, go check out my website, shaperfineart.com. <laughs> yeah, your childhood landline. Yeah, I remember mine too. I remember they made us memorize that in kindergarten and I remembered it like, I could remember it like crazy. So this is, oh man, let's see if we can get this. 
Can't even get the whole book in here. This is an eight by 10 book, but it's not fitting on the uh, camera. Let's see if I can get it to fit a little bit more. So this is my, uh, this is my book that I, this is my portfolio that I created. So this is my old website, shaferdesigns.com. But uh, yeah, this is illustration I did, a drawing, and then I colorized it and digitally. But there's a lot of cringy stuff in here, guys. So. But, you know, I made it look like a real book, you know. All right, a Brandon Schaefer. Horrible page. So here's some watercolors I did back in the day. Illustration style. A lot of these, like, styles that I saw was just stuff I saw online, and I kind of, like, put my own my own stuff into it. Um, this is the cat in the moon. This got really popular on DeviantArt back in the day. This was my most popular watercolor. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have this one anymore. I gave it to someone. And uh, yeah, so that's unfortunate. Don't really want to talk about that, but this is watercolor as well. You know, just different kind of styles I was playing around with. Another watercolor. That was probably my most realistic watercolor. I think I have this one somewhere. I don't know if I have it or my mom has it. It's somewhere. But um, I have this old violin. So this is all the watercolors, some of these watercolors I did back in the day. These are from 2010, 2009. Um, so I don't know where I don't know where some of these are. I haven't seen that one. I have this one still. Charcoal, self-portrait, um, squid drawing. I did this is from my mind of the squid. Once I found out they had beaks, I was like, man, that's crazy. Um, just illustrations and stuff, other weird styles and stuff. But uh, these are all like school assignments, like posters and stuff we had to make. You know, we had to do these t-shirt designs. So I was just doing like random, I did these like abstract cityscapes with uh, watercolor and, and ink. I had like ink that you dip in, I painted the ink and then I did like ink drawing. Um, so this is like cityscape, but it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's abstract. So I did like these, this kind of looks like a bullet hole or something, but it's actually a city. So like I was just doing like random, random designs. But that's me back in the day, really old me, young me. And this is like a layout with illustrations we had to do. Layout design. Um, little like trifold brochure. This was when I was really into like eating healthy. Like, I still eat pretty healthy, but this is when I was like really getting into it. Um, See, we had all these, we had all these different kinds of, this is all graphic design, so we had all these different kind of uh, assignments we had to do. We had to do like a self-portrait of ourselves using only letters, and then we had to, but we had to have something about it. So I had like all these bad words raining down, these bad concepts, but then I had this like bubble surrounding me, it's protection, you know? So it was pretty cool. I actually had the best... When we did the critique, like we critiqued everyone's in front of the class and everyone chose mine as, as the best one. So I was really happy about that. So uh, cool concept. This is a photograph that I took and then I made it into like a, like a one page article type thing, you know. And I actually did a watercolor of this photo. I'll show you guys that tomorrow. It's pretty awful from 2009, but just random graphics and stuff we'll get through all this really quickly and then this is some photography that I did so like I said this is the first two years of my college experience you know just photography uh, playing around with I never really did photography but this was just playing around with composition and just some of my I did a watercolor of this too really awful water I'll show you guys that tomorrow and these are some uh, logo design that I did. So I, this is all made up. This is all completely made up stuff. Um, some sushi bar that I made up. Um, I always thought this was pretty cool. UFO ink. It looks like a UFO. Like with the uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. 
I was like, man, this could be a cool company. <laughs> but, uh, you know, just completely made up stuff. But, um, uh, old website design for a restaurant, a fake made up restaurant. And this was my old website. This is really cool. I wish I could show you guys this. I actually still have access to this. This is a, a flash file. I made my website in flash and it's the coolest thing, man. Everything like wiggles and stuff and, and it all moves. Um, you know, old business cards and letterhead. I still have some of these business cards somewhere. Let's see if I can find those. Yeah, I ended up I ended up keeping. So that's my whole that's my whole portfolio, guys. So there you go. Um, that's my college first two years of college. So these are my business cards of the past. And I have let's see, I know I have uh, some of my old old ones. Here we go. Boom. So that's kind of the uh, progression of my business cards <laughs> I, I used to be really into like a lot of textures and stuff and then I, I kind of got into just making it very you know uh, whatever cleaner you know just different styles that's when I finally made my own logo for my art business with the tree and the circle or whatever but anyway we'll get back to this drawing hope you guys enjoyed seeing all that stuff um, so that's kind of all my old work and that would, to be honest, that's the best of my old work, you know, obviously it's in my portfolio. That's all my best stuff. So, um, Yeah. I gotta be careful with these stripes on the back. They're a lot lighter than the rest of the zebra, so I'm gonna try to make sure to keep that. Yeah, so that was the that's some of the best of my graphic work, old old graphic work. Um I don't like how sharp everything is. I wish I didn't do like Outlines there. Didn't really want to do that. Um, oh well. Yeah, so that was a trip down memory lane, real quick. Yeah, I have Nightbot. I have Nightbot scheduled every uh, every twelve minutes. They post my website. So every 12 minutes on the hour. So it should be, yeah, 624 it'll post. 612 it posts, 624, 636, 648 it posts my website. A little promotion, you know, just so people, it makes it easy for people to check out my website. So I got a blog on there, I got some info on there, got all my work on there, a lot of stuff on there. Let's get through these stripes, folks. Yeah, so what'd you guys think of my old work there? You, probably, you guys probably already commented on all of it. I missed all of it. Uh, no, it was not Shutterfly. I used uh, Blurb. That book was made through Blurb. My old portfolio books. I have a few other, I actually have. So this, this small version of the book was actually one I did on my own. But what we, um, here, I'll show you guys real quick, sorry. But, so what we had to do, that was actually the newer version of my book. 
So for, for our college, like their final, this was our final project we had to do was make a portfolio as a book. And uh, we had to make it a 12 by 12 book. And it's laid out a little bit differently. There's not much difference. But, you know, some of the some of the photos have, like, space to the side of them like that, you know, like over here. Um, you know, I just had to lay it out a little bit differently than that 8 by 10 that I have. But it's all the same stuff, all the same stuff in here. But um, I also have another one I did. This one I did after, this was my final year of college, after four and a half years of college. And uh, there's not much different in here. There's just different photographs, different, um, some of the same art in here. Some of my acrylic paintings are in here. This was before I ever got into oils and stuff. This was before I, you know, I was just doing acrylics, more watercolors. Um, see, like I have this cat and the moon in there again, but I have a whole spread of the process of this painting. Like it started out over here. It started out as this pen sketch and then a watercolor or a digital and then a watercolor. Um, those were, that was kind of my first stab at this. And then this is like the uh, process photos of the drawing and the more this was like what it evolved into the cat and the moon. And uh, it started out as the cat looking up at the moon and then I, I drew it into this cat like kind of climbing up this tree to the moon, you know. So that was based on a poem that I found online. I thought it was pretty cool. So those are all the my portfolio books that I have um, that I've had printed and stuff. But anyway. Anyway, okay. No, only 50 more minutes. No, we're going to get through this one. We're going to go. We're going to We're going to make we're going to finish this one up pretty soon here. I don't want another two hour podcast. I want this one to be hour and a half. So I gotta finish this in 15 minutes, I can do that. I mean, I can fill these stripes in pretty quickly. Especially all the dark stripes. But then I have to do the white. But there's not a whole lot of white, you know, just on its back and the head. So, should be okay. Like I said, I'll just suggest stripes down here. I'll make this line a little bit thicker, a little more dynamic. That's kind of a good curve there. I can make this a little bit thicker as well. Like that. Uh, where else? You know, I don't want to think about it too much. Just want to do what comes to my mind. <clears throat> Where did I go to college? Uh, in Delaware. I went, to a, I went to a small community college to begin with. And the community college was way better than the college that I actually paid for. Um, I learned way more. I, I literally learned nothing in the, my last two years of college at the other school that I went to. It's like, it, it's pretty bad when I'm going to classes at a college I'm paying for. Cause the first, the first community college I went to, I had like a scholarship from high school that made it free to go, to go to this community college. As long as you get like a certain GPA, they'll pay for your college. It's kind of a cool, it's pretty cool uh, program or whatever. But you know, the high school and the college just kind of had a deal or whatever. I don't know how it all works, but anyway, uh, luckily I had a good GPA because I didn't even think about college at all when I was in high school, and um, yeah, it's pretty bad when you go to a college where I could have taught the class better <laughs> than than what I was being taught. Like it's ridiculous. It, it was so ridiculous. 
because I, I would just go to class and I would just be so bored. I would just be like I remember going to a website class, a web design class, and it it was so boring, dude. I was like, I would sit in the class, and and the crazy thing about the second college I went to, the thing that sucks is we only you only had one class per week, and the classes were only like seven week, seven or eight weeks long. So that that was a good thing about it. But then what ends up happening is since you go to class so uh, infrequently, the class is five hours long every week. So I had to sit in this boring five-hour class a lot of the time and do, like, nothing because, like, I've already done all the work. I remember going to this web, web design class. It's like I already designed this whole thing at home, and I did it in, like, you know, like two days, like I'm already done. And I still have like, you know, six more weeks of this class. It's like, dude, I already did all, <laughs> like I already know how to make a website. Like I already did all this. Like, and he's not even like, he didn't even really teach the class. He wasn't even teaching people how to do anything. Oh, it was so awful, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, luckily I survived that, I got through it. I just really did not like school, especially, you know, my second college, man, I had to pay for that stuff. Like, it was so ridiculous just to get that stupid piece of paper that I don't even show anyone. I don't have to prove anyone that I have the sheet of paper. People just believe me, you know, to get a job. They're like, oh, yeah, you finished college? Okay, cool, we'll hire you. And it's like, do you want to see, like, the certificate? No, we don't really care. It's like, why did I go and get this thing then? Like, this is stupid. But, yeah, I understand, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I went to both colleges in Delaware. Luckily, the second college, I mean, relatively, it's cheap for college. You know, it wasn't, like, super-duper expensive. Like, I am already I already paid off the debt, luckily. I paid that off in, like, really quickly, you know, like three years. With and I, and I was barely even making any money my first few years after college, and I was able to just save up a ton of money and... Luckily, YouTube helped me with that. Like, all the money I was getting from YouTube those first few years after college, like when I started YouTube, all the money, YouTube money that I had was going for the first two or three years. All the YouTube money went straight to my student loan debt. And I just paid it off as quickly as I could. So I got, I was lucky that way, but, you know, it's not like I was putting in work on the YouTube, you know. It wasn't like I was lucky. It was just... It was lucky that I was able to just pay it off very quickly. Because I do not like debt. I don't like being in debt, especially for something like that. I was like, yep, I'm done. Okay, we got about seven minutes here. We got to complete that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get it an hour and a half, but I'm going to try. Oh, these are light stripes. What am I doing? These are supposed to be lighter. Gosh darn it. They're not supposed to be that dark. They're only dark when they round. That's what I get for talking too much. They're only dark down here on the belly. Ugh. Do I draw portraits? Yeah, I do, sometimes. Yeah, I have in the past. I didn't go to an art college, actually. I just went to a normal college that had graphic design. Oh my gosh, $130,000 to California University. Man, that's a bummer, dude. That's true, Cubs win, so I could be honest when I said I had it, but yeah, that's true. Yeah, great. Honest that I had this sheet of paper and I spent all this money to get this knowledge that I already had. <laughs> uh, I mean, I got an associate's degree, but nobody cares about that one. They're like, yeah, associate's degree, what is that? Like, you know, it's when you go to college for two years and you get an associate's degree.
Yeah, I mean, that's just, it's just ridiculous. I mean, the funny thing is, it's funny that, especially the universe, California University, or whatever, University of California, it's funny that it costs so much now, but when you go back to, like, the 80s, I think it was, like, the 80s, I mean, tuition was so cheap back then, dude. You know, you could go to school for a year, and it'd be, like, what, eight grand or something, maybe not even that. It's like, what happened? Is school that much better nowadays? Like, what is, why does it cost so much? Like, I understand inflation happened, so it's going to be a little more expensive. Like, obviously, 8000 back then was a little bit more expensive than it is today. But even then, even then, it doesn't justify 130000 That's just it's so crazy, man. It's so crazy what they, they charge. And it's funny nowadays, especially with this Corona thing, they still want you to pay that much and it's all virtually. You're doing it online. You're not even going to the class. It's like, really? Are you going to draw portraits of people for live videos in the future? Yeah, possibly. I, I painted a portrait of myself recently in the last few weeks. Um, I don't have any plans to right now. Like, I don't have anything planned, but... Um, yeah, it's possible. Portraits just can, they can take a little more time. So like, I don't want to have like a super long live stream, even though I'm already having that right now, but. Okay, cool. Let's do the white. Let's see the grass. We'll put in some of the grass. I want to put like more of shadow underneath them too, just to show that. I should do abstract pop art. Yeah, no thanks. It's not really, not really my style. I'm not interested in abstract art. I'm gonna make it a little darker right underneath him. Just kind of ground him a little bit. Give it some weight. Give it some. I want to do some white grass too, that will really give a light effect, I think. But for now, we'll just... just make it look like there's, you know, a bunch of different things growing and happening. Yeah, it definitely doesn't justify the cost. It's so ridiculous, man. It's so crazy. I, I mean, I've, I've been hearing for years that this whole college thing is going to collapse because there's, there's no way it's not sustainable. And, and especially now when you can learn so much stuff online for free, like, it's just not sustainable anymore. They, they can't keep asking for these prices. Like, people are just going to start... People, like, most people are just going to start making their own businesses online and they're not gonna they're not gonna go to college anymore and get a degree because it's just not worth it. It's not worth all that debt. You know, some people will or whatever, but you know, it's just not. I don't know why you didn't see the Posca markers there. I'm not part of that. I don't know why you're asking that in my chat, dude. I don't run that website. I have no idea. Why are you asking that, the real Andre B? What, what's the point? I don't know, I don't own, I don't run that website. I don't even, I don't even have, I think I have one Posca marker. I have like a, a white, that's it. I have nothing to do with them. <laughs> it's all good, I'm just wondering, it's just very random. 
Like no one's, no one's, we're not even talking about that at all. No one's mentioning that. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm just wondering. Not trying to be mean or anything. I'm just trying to figure out where, where you're thinking. Oh, see you, Triforce Hero. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, this white pen, man. I love this white pen. Yeah, I'm just glad I'm done with school and done with college and not gonna not gonna go back to that. No way. <laughs> Everybody says bye to Triforce now. <laughs> like <laughs> he says he got mad, no one was saying bye to him. Yep, another animal sketch. Wow, look at that white, man. This white's really popping. I like this. I love this new white pen, man. Way better than the jelly rolls, no doubt. Way better than the jelly rolls. Okay, where else, where else, where else? Definitely on its belly over here. We're definitely gonna get a sense of light, I think, on this one. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Fingers on my other hand, crossed. So now I can kind of sculpt some of these black. Um, yeah, it will be interesting to see how long these last, that's true. It, the the tip just seems so much different than the jelly rolls. It seems so much smoother. It seems softer. It doesn't seem as abrasive, but you never know. Who knows? I feel like I could have I could have colored the whole thing in black. That would have took him forever. But and then just did white stripes. But then I would have had to redraw everything. But I think this way is pretty nice. This way worked. But now I can kind of sculpt some of these black stripes a bit if I feel like I need to move them a bit or something I can kind of just sculpt them a bit more which is pretty nice <clears throat> see you Triforce oh, everybody's taking off it's all good. I know it's getting late in parts of the world. Sorry this stream took so long. I kind of knew this was going to be another long one. Now my white ink already ran out. There we go. I was hoping it wouldn't be a long one, but here it is. It's a long one. What am I going to do? Nothing I can do. Just keep drawing. Just try to get this to look nice. You can always catch up on the replay later. Come on, white pen, don't die on me now. I just got you last week. You're so much better than the other one. Don't prove me wrong. Yeah, the white brings it to life. That's for sure, man. I love this. I know you're chilling, Philip. I know you're chilling, man, because we're on the same. We got the same time zone. There's not many other. There's not many other people who have the same time zone as us. It seems. Everybody else is on the East Coast or West Coast or uh, not West Coast, East Coast or Midwest or 
England or something, or or it's morning over in Asia, the Philippines, Malaysia, all that stuff. But we're chilling here on the west coast. It's almost what seven o'clock or something. Okay, hour and thirty-five minutes. We're getting we're getting to the you know, close to the end here. If I didn't show my old work, I would have already finished this thing. But you guys requested that, so I figured I'd. Since you guys technically pay me by watching this, so I gotta show you guys what you want, you know? Show you my old work. All my good old work, not the crap stuff. <laughs> Boom, okay. Almost done with the white, I'm getting close. Getting close here, not much more. But we'll see if it looks uh if it looks good. It does look pretty cool, like the lights hit boom, lighting this thing up. Um I feel like I'm gonna have to put some white over this. Maybe I'll do that with the jelly roll. I gotta put some white over this black part because it's supposed to be a little bit lighter. Yeah, there we go. Supposed to be like that. And that does kind of help. Gives it like, you know, like a glare type of effect. Putting the white over the black. So that's kind of cool. Helps it just a little bit. Um, <laughs> looks like there's, we'll just continue this down the leg a little bit. I don't know why the leg is so dark down there. Come on. I think it's just the tip of the pin that... Something like that. We'll continue this a little bit here. We'll just add some dots to kind of show that it's... Fading a bit into the... Other areas. So there we go. Question is, do I just leave the shadow, the white shadows, the tone of paper? I feel like I have to, because if I don't, it's not going to look. You know, if I, I could space it out a lot, but it might ruin the whole effect. I don't know. West Coast best coast. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got people in all the time zones. That's a crazy thing. So yeah, I feel I feel pretty good about this one. I'm always iffy on the tan paper with some of these. Like, oh, do I just space the white out a little bit more to give it a little bit more another value? You know, just try to like space it out like that. You know, like here, just space it out a bit more to show some reflected light. Have it like fade. You know, I could do that. It seems like it needs that a little bit. As it's turning into the, the shadow. Um, and there is some like, there's some like reflected light over here. Could put in a little bit. So we'll, we'll try to just build up these subtle values a bit more, see what I can do. Thanks, I appreciate that. Um, I think the white wouldn't look bad on the chest as well. Yeah, but I'm trying to preserve the, uh, if you look at the, uh, the light effect, that's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get that light, strong light. So that's what I'm trying to, trying to get here. So 
So we'll lighten up some of these black stripes as well because I think that'll help the effect. Possibly. Let's use this jelly roll. We'll put some white over the uh, over these black stripes that are supposed to be black, but they're tan. Because they're not very dark. could try to use some of this jelly roll in the, these reflected light areas. Just a little bit, sprinkle it in, just where it needs to be. Just because this jelly roll doesn't write as well, so it's kind of a weaker white. You can see how much weaker it is, like especially because it's on its last days more reflected light towards the edge of the animal. So just trying to show that a little bit. Something like that. Put a little dot in its eye. There we go. Um, what else? What else? Not a whole lot of reflected light anywhere. Um, especially on the legs, it gets really dark. This leg gets really dark actually. So I could just try to shade that one a bit more. Maybe some more dynamic kind of line work here. Take a look at that. That's a bit better. It's a bit better, I guess. Uh, I think overall the legs probably actually are a little bit darker overall because they're in the shadow. Because now looking at them, when I squint at them, they are they are a lot darker. So that might actually help just push it a little bit. And I'll just shade them real quickly like this. Some of them have stripe stripes that are closer together and stuff, but just looking at the legs, I can see that. They're a bit more in shadow because they're underneath this whole body, you know. So it makes sense to just makes sense to shade some of that tan area. I think that really helps. That really helped a bit um, for me, anyway. Looks better. Looks more like the reference. And it helps connect the shadow on the ground to the you know, to the body, to the animal. So just a little more continuity there. Um, yeah, this is definitely more challenging drawing, Sarah. That's good point. Good point, yeah. I mean, with all the little, you know, the stripes, it's it's so hard to like draw stripes loosely. I've I've learned that it's just very difficult. It's something you have to just sit there and draw. And I drew them pretty loosely. I mean, I just kind of scribbled them, but it's definitely a challenge. Definitely more challenging. But I think I got a nice light effect there. The only thing it's missing, like I said, we'll have. There's a few. You know, like. light grass shapes here. 
if I can get this pen to write. It's very, it's not very good with doing quick strokes. You gotta kind of be controlled and slow with it, but it's not a bad pen. I don't want to put too much anyway, but yeah, see that, that definitely helps with the light effect overall. And I'm just trying to make it really random, really random type of grass growing and everything. And just have little, little dashes like this, just showing like stuff, uh, growing, you know. Just want to make it really organic looking. And there we go, we got a zebra and a little plot of land there. Bloop. Pretty cool. Um, why did you decide on the jelly roll versus uniball? Well, I really like the uh, Take care, SFS Eagle. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so I'm using, I've been using this Uniball the last week. This Uniball signal. This is the brighter one. It looks a lot brighter anyway. Um, I tried this one because I do like the jelly rolls, but they kind of just started dying really quickly. And, and um, you know, I just wanted to try a different white pen and I found these and I wanted to see what the difference was between these. And so far I like this one a bit more. Um, you know, maybe I need to get some new jelly rolls, probably, and uh, see how bright those are and compare them. But so far, I like the feeling of this one. It's smoother. It's, it seems brighter. It seems, you know, it's just different. But um, <laughs> jelly roll. <laughs> the zebra looks zebra-ish. Well, that's good. It's good. Glad to hear. So we can add, we'll add a little bit more dark here. We'll have, you know, we don't want all the white to be in front. So we will have some dark grass kind of overlapping some of the white that I just put down. And that kind of helps just give, you know, a bit more depth. Very subtle, you know, it's a very subtle thing, but you just want, you just want things to be broken up. I just want things to be broken up. But I suggest it in your drawings as well. You know, the same with the, the stripes as well. You don't always want white being over top everything. So sometimes you can go back and, you know, kind of cut into some of the white to show that the black is growing. You know, the fur, it's, you know, there's there's more to it than just white on top of everything. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this one. I knew it would be pretty bold and I just had to get it to the right values. You know, the bright up here. I really love the head. I think that's really nice, really nice area of contrast. Um, one thing I can do is just fill the snout in just a little bit more. Nothing wrong with that. Um, there we go. Just try to define that a little bit more. There is an area of it that's lighter, a little bit lighter, but not worried about it. Um, so it looks looks pretty much like a zebra. I feel. But anyway, guys, it's almost two hour stream again. Gosh darn it. Uh, anyway, hopefully tomorrow will not be a two hour stream. We'll do a quick painting of something. I think I'm doing to do some architecture again. So it should be pretty cool. A light, loose watercolor wash for the background. Can't do it on this paper. This is 80 pound paper. It would fall apart. Um, I'm looking into, I might get some uh, paper that's thicker. So I have some small, I have some small paper that's very, that's tan like this and gray and it's very thick and I've done some gouache on it. But uh, after the sketchbook, I might get some that thicker paper and uh, We'll try that. Then I can add some washes to these pen ink drawings, you know. Um, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> oh, gosh. Nothing wrong with a two-hour stream. Yeah. Thanks, Sarah. 
I think it's wonderful. Are you going to maybe do architecture next? Yes, I am. I didn't even see your question, but yeah, I am planning on doing some architecture tomorrow in watercolor, uh, hopefully. So it should be pretty cool. Just some more building practice. I found a photo with some good lighting. So yeah, I think this is it. I think that, you know, I don't know if there's much else I can really do to this. I think it's pretty much it. You know, I can add a little bit of black in some areas up here just to but uh, you know, there's not much, not much, not much to mess with. Um, let me see. Did I miss anything? Am I missing anything? Not really. Not really missing much. Does not seem like I'm missing much. Maybe inside the ear could be a bit darker. You know, I could sit here all day and like really figure out what it needs and stuff, but I'm pretty happy with this one, surprisingly. I was a little worried at first, or you know, a little while ago, I was pretty worried about how this one was gonna turn out. But uh, this little buddy looks pretty good. I think, I think he looks pretty good. I think so. Anyway, um, what time is the stream tomorrow? Same time as always, 5, 10 p.m. West Coast time, Pacific Standard Time. 5, 10 is when I start. I'll, I'll schedule it up. I'll, I'll schedule it uh, tonight. And then if, if you go later on or tomorrow morning, check your subscriptions page on your YouTube. It'll show when it's going to be, you'll see it on there. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, I always have a lot of fun with this white pen. So thank you guys for tuning in. I could sit here and draw this grass forever. It's just so much fun. There's so much to add. But um, anyway, I did one crazy stroke there, but I kind of like it because that's how nature is. It's kind of crazy. It's pretty wild, but I can break that up with some black. Boom, there we go. Uh, uh. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, one last time, be sure to check out my website, shaverfineart.com. I'm going to be, I added a ton of new watercolors the other day. So definitely check all those out. And I'm going to be adding more probably tomorrow. I got some other drawings on there. I got I to gotta, I gotta add a bunch more drawings as well. I'm kind of slacking on the drawings on there. But definitely check all those out. And uh, check out my support page. Check out my music that I make on my own time. Check all this stuff out. I appreciate it. This was fun. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, supporting me as always. So uh, have a good evening and I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Peace.